idea generation. This is a part two of my 101 self-help tips for, you know, just self-improvement because self-care is the most important. So idea generation, what is that? Basically, it's when you, you know, when you, you're just sitting there daydreaming, you're sitting in class, you're sitting at work and you're saying, telling yourself, man, if only I can make this amount of money, if only I can plan this trip, if only I can do this. Yeah, you know what you're doing? You're creating a, a, a visual, an abstract, or even a concrete idea that basically something that you want to create, be it, you know, a potential future for yourself, or even just something as simple as a vacation. But nothing comes out of it unless you create the idea and you generate ways to take this cloud, this information, and transform it into an actual idea with concrete goals, with concrete steps of how you're going to achieve that idea. And today's in today's society, we we all struggle with that. We're we're always so busy, we don't have time, uh, or we have to do this or that. That when you don't take a moment to just sit down and jot your ideas. I know when I'm driving home sometimes, and I hear like a certain instrumental, I freestyle. That's idea generation. You see how simple something as simple as freestyling or just you just have this thought like well, imagine I created a a collar that keeps your other collars intact. Boom! Just then I created another idea to create this YouTube I, um, video. I had to have an idea. The thing is, our right, humankind is so gifted and so talented when it comes to generating ideas and propelling ourselves into the future that sometimes the best ideas are the ones we don't write down or the ones we don't pursue because a e be it like fear be it you know lack of knowledge or just don't just not knowing where to start and that's okay because that's the part of life you know when it comes to creating new things and new ideas it's it's not easy so what i want to do today and I, I'm going to keep these videos very informal. It's just us talking. And, you know, I want to see some comments of how you generate ideas. But some some of the things that have worked for me is I have a book that I got from work. Um, it's a Cisco book. It's really awesome. A lot of pages and a pen. And when I have an idea for a YouTube video that I want to discuss, you know, be it gaming, be it, you know, self-help tips, be it just, you know, discussing, you know, social Social classes that are going on in society, I write it down because, you know, later on I want to come back. I want to, you know, jot down some ideas and potentially create a YouTube video as I am now. So for me, I like to brainstorm. I know, I know. We, we all learned this in school, brainstorming, you know. Oh, when you're writing a paper or you're doing a project, you want to brainstorm what you want it to be. But there's some truth to that. You don't make a plan without brainstorming all the possibilities of how you're going to get to that plan. It's like I told you guys before in um, in the last episode, um, getting a fresh start. I, I have my own meal plan. I have my own workout plan. Shouts out to Jalen. He hooked me up with a dope uh, workout plan. But yeah, I have plans because, you know, I, I brainstormed said how I want to be X amount of weight by X amount of time. How do I do it? I sat down and brainstormed. Well, it starts with nutrition. Well, it starts with, you know, properly exercising. It starts with, you know, taking better care of myself. And from there, all that brainstorming helped me create a concrete plan. And that's what you have to do, right? Some people, they, you know, they just, they storyboard. And this is more, storyboarding is more like, um, you know, animation, you know, like visual stories. Some people, like I said, some people are visual. So they storyboard where they create this idea like, all right, let me draw it out because right, I need to see how it's going to turn out. All right, like this weekend, all right, I'm going to go to New York. Boom. What are we going to do in New York? All right, draw this. Okay, we're going to see the tree. Okay, we're going to go to this restaurant. You know, draw it out. So you have a map, a little road plan of what you're going to do today for that day so that when you visually see it, you remember it. Because remember, we're, there's different type of learners and everyone has a different way of remembering things or a different way of planning or creation of ideas. So 
you may be visual, so I would suggest, you know, storyboarding, drawing it out, create a picture so that you know and you understand what you're talking about. Um, next, some people like to role play, right? We do it every day. Our whole life is a role play. And I'll discuss that in a later video because that's another one of my topics. Um, you just talk it out. You know, you say, okay, so tomorrow my, my plan is, you know, wake up, uh, 7 o'clock, go shower, brush my teeth, uh, call everybody, make sure they're ready. You know, things of that nature. You, you plan out your day verbally because to you, that's how you remember it and that's how you generate ideas. So, oh, maybe instead of doing this, maybe we can add this, we can substitute that into the day. Boom. You know, however you get your day going and how you plan out your events, do it your way. Be it visual, be it verbal, be it writing it down. You know, any method that works for you and you've seen results, go with it. And, you know, who cares what anyone else says? You know, maybe someone's like, maybe you should try, you know, role playing it out more. No, it's your choice. You decide. A key word, you decide what works for you. However you generate your ideas, be it, you know, you, you can generate ideas in a busy train. If that, so you just need that, that background noise, cool. If you need complete quiet, cool. That's fine. But remember, find these places where you can generate ideas. For me, it all depends on my feelings and my mood. Certain moods attract certain ideas, right? And let's say I'm, I'm in a real, like, like shitty mood, right? Certain ideas that I generate won't always be positive, but it's things that we need to talk about. Because remember, and, and throughout the series that I'll discuss it more, mental health is important. We tend to forget about that. But yeah, so like a lot of topics or ideas for videos about mental health will come through when I'm in the shittiest parts of my life or the shittiest, shittiest moments of my day. Or when my day's not going so well. Oh, man, I'm having a shitty day. I wonder if other people feel that way. Oh, jot it down. That's another video idea. Oh, jot it down. This is how I feel. You know, some people just got to talk it out. They got to talk to themselves on the way home. Like, damn, I really didn't like how that went today at work. I could have done better. Or some people, they just internalize it mentally and they draw out the picture. Ah, oh, this is the scenario that's happening in my head right now. I wish I would have did this instead of that. Whatever works for you to create your ideas or generate that kind of mindset, find it. Accept it. Nurture it. You know, in this world, we, we've been given such a beautiful chance to not only, you know, have thoughts or have ideas, but be able to, you know, act it out, to rationalize it, to see it come to fruition through, you know, proper planning. And that's all it is, you know? And um, for, oh, for, I completely forgot, wow. Wow, Ray, that's smart. <laughs> anyway, you ever realize in school, like when you're, when the teacher's talking or someone's lecturing, you start daydreaming? That too in itself is another form of idea generation. Think about it. When you daydream, you, you create this fantasy, you create this ideal situation that could become reality, but all the while, you're just daydreaming. And then from there, you plan, you decide, you go, you build. Boom. Just from that moment of daydreaming, you created a whole idea. So like I said, man, this is whatever works for you. Some people just, they, some people are brainstormers. Some people, they just have to draw it out. They have to express it through their art. They have to express it through, you know, drawings or graphics or just memes, right? Some people have ideas they need They need to talk it out. They need to, like how I am right now, verbally explain it. Whatever works for you, my friend, that works for you. Embrace it, you know, and just understand that the ideas and thoughts that you get are natural. They're okay. Because they're yours. They're not anyone else's. They're yours. And if you want to share it with the world, share it with the world. Do it via YouTube. Do it through your art. Do it through, you know, your job. Your, just anywhere. If you want to express it, make it come to life. But remember, the, power, the real power of idea generation is you're generating something that can change someone's life. Be it yours. Be it your next door neighbor. Be it a friend, a dog, whoever. Just remember, you're impacting someone, and that's a beautiful thing, and we just have to live with that. 
And, and don't ever be ashamed or afraid to speak your mind or your idea. Because what you have in there, you can change the world, my friend. And I'm not coming, I'm not a sentimental dude or a sappy dude, but I really do appreciate those who are not afraid to share what they're feeling and say what they're feeling. Because right now in this world, everybody's getting so sensitive. Everybody's getting so um, ashamed of speaking out their mind because they're afraid of being ridiculed. And I say, fuck that. Do what you got to do. Say what you got to say. Live your life, my friend. All right? So keep generating those ideas. And maybe potentially you may be able to change the world. Maybe not. Maybe you just help that next door neighbor. But whatever. It doesn't matter. Just let it be known and let it out. I support you. And the people who care about you do as well. Alright. That's it for today. I just wanted to get, come on give you guys just another quick tip. You know, just don't be afraid to generate ideas. I did idea generation is such a beautiful thing. So, I'm going to be trying to... I throw these videos every Sunday. I'm going to add another day because I feel inspired. So, you know, be on the lookout for Sunday and maybe Wednesday. I'm going to try for Wednesday. You know what? I won't try. I will do it on Wednesday. Speak into existence. So, every Sunday and Wednesday, you get a new 101, uh, a different way, sorry, to improve yourself. And it's going to be for a whole series of 101 ways to, for self-improvement. All right? It's your boy, Ray the Rookie. Senpai out.